Hi, this is Alan Messagy. Welcome to my kitchen. And very recently I saw a very uh, dramatic display that really brought something, uh, made it very obvious to me, and I wanted to share that with you, get the word out there. And so what it was, was a whole table full of different beverages and drinks that were set up. And these little cups in front were filled up with the amount of sugar that is in each one of them. And it's hidden sugar because you don't see it. Uh, you literally don't see it and you don't know that it's there until somebody makes it visual like this for you. So that's what I wanted to do today. So I wanted to start over here with this Arizona iced tea for kids. Um, you know, it seems to have pretty good, pretty good intent and a lot better than, than most drinks. No preservatives, no artificial color, no artificial flavors. The company appears to do some real good uh, some real good work in who they endorse and and the types of projects they get involved in. However, they have 23 grams of sugar in this little tiny 10 ounce bottle. There's that much sugar, 23 grams. Vitamin water, very, very popular. I see tons of people drinking these. And, you know, this is the, uh, the Power C product. 13 grams of sugar per serving. The issue is when you get up into these big bottles, they're two or two and a half servings each. So this is 32 and a half grams of sugar in this vitamin water. Red Bull, we're looking at 52 grams of sugar. This little 10 ounce bottle of Tropicana grape juice. I used to drink tons of grape juice and orange juice. I absolutely loved it. Apple juice, all really good stuff. However, uh, you know, to get a to get apple juice about this size, you're talking about six apples. And the problem with squeezing the juice out of it, even if it's fresh, is that you get the sugar, concentrated sugar content, but you don't get the fiber and the other ingredients that you need that help compensate for that. Try eating six apples in a day. See how you feel. So and then on around, we've got some Gatorade, a big, I think this is 32 ounces here. So you're looking at actually four servings in this one bottle. 64 grams of sugar. We're almost spilling over the top now. We've got a bottle of Coke here, 65 grams of sugar. Of course, these are all two and a half servings per bottle, but I've never seen anybody share them with one and a half other people. So people typically drink the whole thing. We've got the Sobe here. 74 grams and the king of sugar that I'm aware of is Mountain Dew and I just wanted to demonstrate to you how much that really is and it's 77 grams so I'm going to zero this out okay we're at zero there I'm going to take a tablespoon of sugar and just pour it on in here there's 19 grams of sugar try not to spill too much 35 grams, 51, I hope we can fit it all in, and we're up to 70, 70 grams, I need to get up to 77 grams, it looks like my kitty is going to join us here, this is Seema, and she's curious about everything. So there we go, 77 grams of sugar in Mountain Dew. Say hi, Seema. There we go. That's what I wanted to get across today, just so you know how much sugar you're, you have in, in, in the drinks that you're consuming. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.